What's up, Cowboys Nation? Welcome back to Cowboys News TV, where we keep you updated on all things Dallas Cowboys. I'm Dave, and today, we're diving into the latest developments surrounding our franchise quarterback, Dak Prescott. He's been the heart and soul of this team, but as contract negotiations with Jerry Jones continue to unfold, there's a lot of uncertainty about his future. Could Dak really become a free agent in 2025? And what does that mean for the Cowboys? We'll break it all down, but first, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss any of our videos. We're on the road to 11,000 subscribers, and with your support, we're getting closer every day. Now, let's talk about Dak Prescott and what's been happening off the field. Despite the ongoing contract dispute, Dak showed once again why he's the kind of leader every team dreams of having. Before the Cowboys' second preseason game against the Raiders, Dak took a moment that really stood out. He spotted a young fan in the stands and made sure to give her an experience she'll never forget, signing her jersey, her socks, and even taking time for a photo. But what really made this moment special was Dak's message, it's okay. Take your time. I'm good. This is my game day right here. I love this energy. Cowboys Nation, this is the kind of player we've got leading our team. Even with all the pressure of contract negotiations, Dak remains focused on what matters most, his connection with the fans and his love for the game. Now, I want to hear from you in the comments. How do you feel about Dak's gesture? Does it make you even more convinced that he should be a cowboy for life? And while you're at it, don't forget to vote in our community poll about whether you think the Cowboys should make Dak the highest paid player in NFL history. Your opinions are what drive this channel, so let's get the conversation going. But let's not ignore the elephant in the room, Dak Prescott's contract situation. As you probably know, Dak is entering the final year of his contract with the Cowboys. If Jerry Jones doesn't make a move soon, Dak could be an unrestricted free agent in 2025. That's right, no franchise tag, no trade clause, just an open market with teams lining up to make him their next franchise quarterback. And with the quarterback market already hitting $55 million per year thanks to Trevor Lawrence and Jordan Love, it's likely going to take $60 million a year to keep Dak in Dallas. So, Cowboys Nation, what's your take on this? Should Jerry Jones pull the trigger and offer Dak the massive contract he's earned, or is it time to start thinking about life after Dak? Drop your thoughts in the comments, and let's get a lively discussion going. Remember, every comment, every like, and every share helps us bring you the best Cowboys content on YouTube, so don't hold back. Now, let's take a step back and think about what it would mean if Dak Prescott actually became a free agent. The idea is almost unthinkable, but it's a reality we might have to face if things don't get sorted out soon. There's no doubt that teams would be tripping over themselves to sign Dak, and honestly, who wouldn't want a leader like him? His poise, his talent, his leadership, it's all there. But losing Dak would be a massive blow to the Cowboys. We've built this team around him, and the chemistry he has with the guys on the field is something you can't just replace. Cowboys Nation, I want to pose a question to you. If the worst case scenario happens and Dak does hit free agency, who do you think should step up as the Cowboys' next quarterback? Should we look to the draft, explore trades, or do we already have someone on the roster who can fill those big shoes? Let me know your thoughts, and while you're down there, why not subscribe to our channel if you haven't already? Your subscription helps us grow and bring you even more in-depth Cowboys analysis and news. As much as we hope Dak stays in Dallas, the reality is that Jerry Jones will need to make some tough decisions in the coming months. The market is what it is, and if Jerry wants to keep his star quarterback, he'll have to be ready to pay up. But let's not forget, this isn't just about money. It's about securing the future of the Cowboys and making sure we have the best possible chance to compete for Super Bowls in the years to come. We've got a story that's all about perseverance, determination, and capitalizing on every opportunity that comes your way. We're talking about Keeman Hall, a name that might not have been on your radar before, but after what he did against the Raiders, it's time to take notice. 
But before we dive into Hall's incredible journey to the Dallas Cowboys, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss an update. We're pushing towards 11,000 subscribers, and we'd love to have you join our growing community of diehard Cowboys fans. Let's get right into it. Keeman Hall had what many would call a welcome to the Cowboys moment in the preseason game against the Las Vegas Raiders. In the fourth quarter, Hall read the quarterback perfectly, snagged the interception, and took it 69 yards to the house. A pick six that had Cowboys fans on their feet and left the Raiders stunned. But what makes this moment even more special is Hall's reaction and the journey that led him here. It felt great, Hall said after the game, just being in the right place at the right time, reading my keys and the quarterback taking me the ball. Now, here's where it gets interesting. This wasn't just a lucky play. Hall has a history of making big plays, and this pick six took him back to his college days at the University of North Texas. The last time he had a pick six? September 15, 2018, against none other than Arkansas. And guess who was playing quarterback for the Razorbacks that day? John Stephen Jones, the son of Stephen Jones and grandson of Jerry Jones. That's right, Cowboys Nation, the Jones family has known about Keeman Hall for years. Fast forward to 2024, and Hall is now making plays for the very team owned by the Joneses. Talk about full circle, right? Hall's journey to the Cowboys hasn't been easy. After going undrafted in 2019, Hall has bounced around the NFL, spending time with the Los Angeles Chargers, Minnesota Vikings, New Orleans Saints, and even a brief stint with the Cowboys in 2020 before being waived and re-signed by the Chargers. His NFL career has been a roller coaster, but through it all, Hall has kept his head down and continued to work. I've worked so hard to stay in the mix, Hall said. And every opportunity that's come around, I try my best to capitalize on it, and I'm grateful for that. And capitalize he has. Hall's performance against the Raiders wasn't a fluke. He's been turning heads in training camp as well, with multiple interceptions in practice, including picks off both Cooper Rush and Trey Lance. Hall credits much of his success to the coaching he's received from Cowboys assistant head coach and defensive backs coach Al Harris. Al always preaches about the ball, Hall said. He said if you're not touching the ball, you're not doing something right. That's what he harps on every day. Once you get that mindset about the ball, you're going to try to find it. But it's not just the coaches who have influenced Hall. Being in the same room as star cornerbacks like Trayvon Diggs and Darren Bland has been an invaluable experience for him. Hall is soaking up as much knowledge as he can from these guys, asking questions, and learning from the best. Watching them operate every day, their knack for the ball, I just ask them questions like, how'd you read that so fast? They give you the game piece by piece and you just try to put it in yours and make plays. So, what's next for Keeman Hall? The preseason finale is coming up, and it just so happens to be against the Los Angeles Chargers, the team that waved him twice. It's a perfect opportunity for Hall to show them what they missed out on and prove that the Cowboys made the right choice in bringing him back. It's a story of redemption, determination, and maybe, just maybe, a little bit of kismet. Cowboys Nation, I want to hear from you. What do you think about Keeman Hall's journey? Do you think he's earned a spot on the 53-man roster? Let's get the conversation going in the comments below. And don't forget to vote in our community poll on whether you think Hall will make the final roster. Your engagement helps us bring you more of the content you love, so keep those comments, likes, and shares coming. As always, thanks for tuning in to Cowboys News TV. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and share it with your fellow Cowboys fans. We've got a lot more content coming your way as we gear up for the regular season, so stay tuned. Until next time, Cowboys Nation, keep your heads up, stay loyal, and go Cowboys!